Hello everyone, my name is Athena and welcome back to True Detective. This is going to be episode 3 and last we saw... Uh, sorry, Jimmy Macram. Cole and Hart. I, I just know them by their last names. Martin and Rusty, but I get, I get, I get, I get the first name and last names. And they found a church where they suspected the the missing girl Lang had been. They looked around on the walls and they found a painting of what appeared to be a woman with deer antlers. So definitely a uh, a clue, a tie-in with everything that's been going on. Uh, Woody Harrelson has been banging the uh, the assistant, uh, the, the clerk, the legal clerk, whoever she is at, down at the station. Um, I forget her name, but she's from, you know, or, you know what I'm talking about. So Woody Harrelson's cheating on his wife, and McConaughey knows about it. He's very observant. And, and when I was when I was editing episode one, I noticed when uh, when Woody ran off with her at the station real quick, like it's it specifically went to McConaughey noticing it. So it's like he he was already putting it together before he came in the next day wearing the same clothes and you know before that whole thing. Break your wrists. So yeah, this is episode three. Let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, got a investigator out there. More backup, taking pictures. He knew you. I wonder how many of those people are actors and extras, or, or, or locals. This or world. what? If, what if some of the people in the audience feel like they're getting made fun of? Like, hey. You, you can imagine what Mr. Charisma thought of that. What do you think the average IQ of this group is, huh? <laughs> uh. Can you see Texas up there on your high horse? These folks putting what few bucks they do have in the little wicker baskets being passed. That guy around. was in the intro. I think it's safe to say that nobody here is going to be splitting the atom, Marty. You see that? Your fucking attitude. Not everybody wants to sit alone in an empty room beating off the murder manuals. <laughs> Can you imagine if people didn't believe what things they'd get up to? Exact same thing they do now. Just out in the open. Bull shit. It'd be a fucking freak show of murder and debauchery, and you know it. If the only thing keeping a person decent exactly. is the expectation of divine reward, exactly. brother, that person is a piece of shit. Yeah, they're fucked already. <laughs> and I'd like to get as many of them out in the open as possible. You remember? The tall man. Yeah, but I don't know if she was with him with him. Well, can you describe him? Tall. Okay, it's a ship. Is that a ship going by? Yeah, okay. I thought it was a factory on train. I was like... Yeah, this guy on the right is in the opening credits. Bert, you spent two years in Angola. Indecency. Public exposure. Whacking off outside of school. I, I paid for that. I paid for that. So, at the end of the other episode, they said they locked up the guy, but then there was a very similar crime thereafter. So, is there a copycat criminal, or did they get the wrong person? You know, I could see this being some kind of retard job. Pays for it, gets ashamed, uh, overreacts, um, tries to redeem the act, like, you know? That's not bad, Marty. Well... Yeah, I got all the way there without your help. <laughs> it's not him. Not alone, at least. Some bloods caught him in the shower. Took his balls off with a razor. They were sloppy about it. Oh, Jesus. Still. I braced him. And shit himself. Literally. Yeah, because even if he did something to her, he wouldn't put the paintings on her and hang all this shit. That seems like... Not above his capabilities, but I, I would be highly surprised for that to be the case. I keep things even. Mm. Separate. I like the way I can have just one beer without needing 20. People incapable of guilt usually do have a good time. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Try not to be too hard on myself. Well, that's real big of you. <laughs> you know the real difference between you and me? Yeah. Denial. 
What's he doing at their home? Maybe you just think you prefer it this way because it's what you're used to, huh? Your life accommodates you. You don't have to be afraid of loss. Yo, yeah, he set me up with a nurse. He came over and mowed his lawn. Can you tell him not to talk to my wife or talk about her? What's going on, Russ? Brought the mower back. I'll walk you out. Uh, what the fuck did hey. I say to you? Indiscretions. How do you think you're doing, man? At my house when I'm not here. Returning the mower. What do you think I'd be doing over here? You're not around, Marty. What's our problem? You and me. No problem. He had to know that would come off as a threat to him. Or he'd take it that way, unless that's the reaction he was... I don't know. Go on. They had, they had uh, the little Barbie doll set up around... Like, the, the guys, G.I. Joe's Go. around the little Run. Barbie doll on the ground. Is, is one of the kids doing, like, dead people sketches and daddy with bullets in him and shit? Like... You don't have to get upset, honey, okay? I just want to talk to you. Well, where'd you see that before, hmm? Why'd you draw that? Because other girls liked it, and they thought it was funny, and so... Yeah, but where'd you get that idea? Hmm? Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. He drew a wiener. And the other girls... Did she find a playboy? Jesus, how do they Pol even know about Polaroids, that stuff yet? cable... Girls always know before boys. Why is that? Because they have to. There's no internet. I'm close. Uh, I'm, to I'm, leaving? They're, they're gonna to breaking? Pull that case from us and... I'll be around more and... I'm just... I'm not... Good at, you know... Words. Expressing. She wants to be a tag team instead of a lead follow. What have you been doing, Marty? Oh, shit. Is this because... Uh, is this because a uh, dude was over? Partner was over? Work? Look, I can see 40. Yeah, he's got a wife, two kids, a house, a job, a girlfriend. Like, he, he's got... What is... <laughs> he's got it all. Money. Oh, yeah, he's looking at the wedding ring that's not there. There's a weight, and it's got his fish hooks in your heart and your soul. He is Hannibal lectoring people. You got one way out. And it's through the grace of God. You are only as the Lord made you. You are not flawed. We, you, me, people, we don't choose our feelings. There's grace in this world, and there's forgiveness for all. But you have to ask for it. <laughs> He's, he's selling it to him to, to get the answer and to make a point to Woody. Now, did he actually do it, or is he just like, you can stir somebody up into Sorry about an emotional, that. you know, rant? Speak as the devil. Hey, Russ. Pardon me. <clears throat> hey, Maggie. Hi, Russ. Jennifer from Rustin. Nice to meet you. There's a spot. She, okay, yeah. Are you gonna go home with this guy? Walk over to his wife and fucking blow his shit out of the water. Like, who the fuck are you, guy? Do you fuck your wife? Have a shot. Oh, now he doesn't have that. I've never been in a room more than ten minutes. I didn't know whether the guy did it or not. How long does it take you? Yeah, Russ put in a lot of off there, duty. There's some subtext DBs. there. It's like it's like he's saying, I did it. Do you, do you, can you tell Two that I did it? I'm life. highly cool. suspicious of this. I found one. I think another girl from earlier. A flood in Abbeville. They pulled this girl out of the river. Oh, oh there it is. Now. You wonder ever... You're a bad man? No. I don't wonder, Marty. I know I am. The world needs bad men. We keep the other bad men from the door. 
That's what he was talking about earlier about denial. Like, I, I, you know, the difference between us is denial. He's accepted. He's like, yeah, I'm shit. But I'm shit for a reason. Tenth grade. Hmm. The school was part of Tuttle's foundation. Huh. And the Tuttles are, there's Minister Tuttle, and then his, his brother or cousin is the governor, they said, so it's just one of those things where it's been covered up from up on high. All puns intended. But 93, he's busted in connection to a narcotics lab used to make meth and LSD, which Dora Lang and Rianne were full of. Right. The dude did two years at Avoyles, and guess who his cellmate was the last four months? Charlie Lang. Heard the boyfriend. I gotta give you this one. Son of a bitch. You ever been in a gunfight? Well, how the fuck are you gonna know what I'm talking about? Man, I played so that some. scrap in the woods they talked about a few episodes ago. Never. It, uh, it reminded me of my pop talking about Nan. Got Aryan tattoos. Tidy whitey's gas mask with the hose filter hanging in a machete. Ah. Seeing a little bit more on, on, on Harrelson and, and his backstory. Uh, not backstory, but uh, his behind the scenes. Like his wife, uh, the, the affair he's having with this girl. Thrashing that dude in the apartment. And, I'm not crazy. Or I'm not a psycho. And then asking if, you know, do you think you can love two women? Or do you think, you know, do you think we're bad people? Or... Yeah, a, a lot of a lot of inward, a lot of reflection on this one, especially for uh, Woody Harrelson. So I'm guessing the next episode is going to possibly pick up with uh, this little scrap in the woods, this combat or this uh, gunfire exchange that Woody was talking about. And I'm starting to wonder if if Woody's wife and McConaughey are going to have a thing because they they seem to be able to communicate. Like even at the first dinner, they she warmed up to him enough to get, you know, get, asked him questions and, and, you know, lost a daughter and she was sympathetic and then trying to introduce a friend and she, she's playing the, the wingman, the wingwoman middle character type. But, uh, the fact that Woody doesn't have the ring makes me think that, I mean, he, he, okay, McConaughey might not wreck the marriage. She might find out about the cheating from McConaughey, but... I don't know if he's going to necessarily, uh, you know, sleep with her. Because in the first episode they mentioned, I think it was, is there a grudge still? Is there no grudge? It's like, wow, well, grudge about what? So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Episode four uh, is called Who Goes There? And that'll be up in the next video. So that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed. I thank you for being here, and uh, see you later. Goodbye.